Hey guys, Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 5 Module 2 Lesson 1 homework. So let's get started. Number one, fill in the blanks using your knowledge of place value units and basic facts. All right, so A, 43 times 30. So it's telling us instead of that, think of it as 43 ones times three tens. Um, so 43 times three is 129. And then since we have ones and tens, one times 10 is 10. So we have 129 tens, which means 43 times 30 is 129. But since 10 has one zero in it, we add one zero at the end. Sorry, into 1,290. And B, 430 times 30, think of it as 43 tens times three tens. And we know that answer is already 129. And 10 times 10 equals 100. That's two zeros. So then um, we think about, because 10 times 10 is 100, so it's 129 hundreds. So we write it as 129. And since hundreds has two zero, we write two zeros at the end. So our answer is 12,900. And C. 830 times 20. So it says think eight tens times two tens. And they're giving us the answer. It's 166. But since 10 times 10 equals 100, it's 166 hundreds. So our answer is 166 plus the two zeros, 16,600. All right, and now let's look at D. 4,400 times 400. So think of it as 44 hundreds times 4 hundreds, which is 176. We have 100 times 100. 1 times 1 is 1, and then plus the 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. It's 10,000. So 176, 10,000 answer would be 176 and there's four zeros and 10,000 so we add one two three four zeros that's 1,760,000 and E we have 80 times 5,000 80 is more like eight tens times five thousands which is 40 because eight times five is 40 but we have tens times thousands and um, one times one is one we have one, two, three, four zeros at the end. That's 40, 10, thousands. So then 80 times 5,000 is 40, and then write the four zeros at the end. 400,000. All right, and number two, it says, determine if these equations are true or false. Define your answer using your knowledge of place value and the commutative, associative, and or distributive properties. All right, so we have A. 35 hundreds equals five tens times seven tens. So it's saying 35, so 35 hundreds equals oh, five times seven times tens and tens, that's 10 times 10. So then um, if 3,500 equals that, then we can do 3,500 is 3,500 equals 35 times 10 times 10 is 100. And 3,500, 35 times 100, we write 35 and add the two zeros. So 3,500 3, is equal to 3,500. So this is true. And B, we have 70, 770 times 6 equals 77 times 6 times 100. Or so you can think of it as 77 times 6 here and then we can't forget about that so then times six is six one so that's ones times 77 tens and saying that's equal to 77 times
times 6, and then times 100. Instead, we can write it as 10 times 10, because 100 is equal to 10 times 10. So here, we look at both equations. We have 77 times 6, but after that, we have 1 times 10 and 10 times 10. 1 times 10 is 10, and 10 times 10 is 100. So 10 is not equal to 100, so we can write a slash through that equal mark, which means it's not equal. So in, um, B, it's false. And now C, 50 tens times 400 equals 40 tens times 500. All right, 50 tens, we can write it 5 times 4 times 50 tens. Oh, instead we could write it 50 times 4 times 10 times hundreds, 100. Saying that's equal to 40 tens, that's equal to 40 times 5 times 10 times 100. So 50 times 4 or 40 times 5 is about, so this is 20. 5 times 4 is 20, but then plus a 0, that's 200. And 4 times 5 is also 20, plus a 0 is 200. And 10 times 10, 10 times 100, 1 times 1 is 1, plus 1, 2, 3 zeros. 10 times 100 is also the same thing, 1,000. So 200 times 1,000 is equal, so then this is true. All right, and then D, we have 24 times 10 times 90 equals 90 times 2,400. All right, 24 times 10, you can write that. We can put that next, so then times 90 times nine, and then now times a 10 times nine tens. Not saying it's equal to 90 or 9 times 24, then times 9 tens, so 10 times 100. So 24 times 9 is 216, and then times 10 times 10 times 100. And then 9 times 24 is also 216. And then times 10 times 100 is 1,000. So we both have the same number, but multiply by different numbers. 100 and 1,000, you can write here, 100 and 1,000 are not equal. So this equation is false. So our answers are true, false, true, false. All right, next page. Number three, find the product, show your thinking. The first row gives some ideas for showing your thinking. All right, A equals five times five, and that's easy, 25. But now five times 50, they have 25, because five times times five is still 25. But then the zero at the end of the 50 is a 10, five tens. So they multiply the 10, so they added zero um, after the five. Now 50 times 50, they made it into 5 times 10 times 5 times 10. And they um, merged it to 5 times 5 times 100 because 10 times 10 is 100. And 5 times 5 is 25, and since 100 has two zeros, they add two zeros at the end. And that's kind of the same thing for how they did 50 times 500. So let's take a look at D. We have 80 times 5. So 80 times 5, 8 times 5 is 40, and then times 10, we just add a 0 at the end. So that's where that 0 is from. So our answer is um, 400. Now 80 times 50, we have converted it to 8 times 5 times 10, because 8 tens, and then times 10 again, because 5 tens. Then we have 40 times 10 times 10 is 100, which 4 times 1 is 4, and then plus 1, 2, 3 zeros at the end. So our answer is 4,000. 800 times 500, 
can do 8 times 5 times 800 times 500. 40 times 1 times 1 is 1, but then plus 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. That's 10,000. 4 times 1 is 4, and now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros. So our answer is 400,000. All right, um, 8,000 times 50, you have 8 times 5, times 1,000, because it's 8,000, and then times 10, because 5 tens. 8 times 5 is 40, times 1,000 times 10, we just add a zero at the end. So it's times 10,000, which um, is 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, zero. That's 400,000. RNC, 637 times 3. So that's not a really easy equation to do. But what we can do, we can do 600 times 3, because there's 600, plus 3, um, and this number is 3 tens. So then plus 30 times 3, plus 7 times 3. 600 times 3 is 18. 6 times 8 is 8. 6 times 3 is 18 plus the two zeros. And then plus 90 plus 21. Now we add it up. Plus 21. That's 1. 11. So 1911. And now we have the same thing. So 637. 6,307 times 30. 637 times 3, and then times the 1,000. Oh, wait. Wait, 637 times 10, because 637 tens, and times 3 tens. So we already know what that answer to that is. It's 1,000. 911 times 10 times 10 is 100. So then we write the same number, but then add two zeros because two zeros in 100. So our answer is 191,100. And now we have 6,370 times 300, 37 times 3, times 637 tens times 300. So we have 1,911 times 10 times 100 is 1 times 1 is 1 plus 1, 2, 3 zeros. So then we have 1,911 1, 1 plus the 3 zeros, 1,911,000. All right, and now bring it up another notch, 63,700 times 300, 37 times 3, times, okay, it's 637 hundreds. So we're doing times 100 and 300, so times 100 again. We know the answer to that, it's 1,911 times one, two, three, four. So one times one is one, plus the four zeros, that's 10,000. So one, nine, one, one, and add the four zeros. So it's 19,110,000. Um, all right, number four, a concrete stepping stone measures 20 square inches. What's the area of uh, 30 such stones? So 20 times 30. So two times three, that's equal to two times three, times, since it's two tens, then we have 10 times three tens. Two times three is six, and 10 times 10 is 100. So 6 times 100 is 600. So the area of 30 stones is 600 square inches. Number 5, a number is 42,300 when multiplied by 10. Find the product of this number and 500. All right, so 
It's saying some number times 10 is equal to 42,300. Well, we know when we're multiplying by 10, it just adds a zero at the end. So if we're gonna find the original number, we can divide by 10, so we take away zero. So that's four, two, three, zero, 4,230. So now it says find the product. So the product is when um, you multiply two numbers and the answer you get is a product. So it's saying find the answer of this new number and 500. So now our new equation is 4,230 times 500. So now we kind of have 423 times 5 times 10 times 100. Well, what's 423 times 5? So let's do on the side. We have 400 times 5 plus 20 times 5 plus 3 times 5. 400 times 5. 4 times 5 is 20 plus the two zeros. That's 2,000 plus 20 times 5 is 100 plus 15. So then if we add that all together, 2,115. So now we more have 2,115 times, wait, I don't know why I'm drawing the parentheses, we don't need them, times 10 times 100, 1 times 1 is 1, plus 1, 2, 3 zeros. So now I write our number 2115 and then 1, 2, 3 zeros. So your answer is 2,115,000. So that would be our answer. Okay. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time. Bye.